Assalamu alaikum foodies, welcome to the food, U USA Foodies YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make Chatpat Damdar Chicken and this recipe was shared by Hina Ahmed and I have tried this recipe many times and I feel like it is such a super easy recipe that gets ready in 30 minutes. Uh, for this I have taken about 10 to 12 pieces of chicken. Um, I have two small potatoes that I have sliced um, in these thin, sliced, uh, thin rounds, circles. And then I have some onions that are round, uh, cut round in round shape. I have some green chilies, they're like two, uh, two green chilies chopped fine. This is just one onion. And then for the spices, we have ginger, uh, I mean ginger garlic paste. Uh, I have garam masala, which is about half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon black pepper powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of um, salt. Oops, so I have my onion that got flung over there on the salt. And then I have uh, about half a teaspoon of um, turmeric, and I have one tablespoon of uh, tomato paste. I also have three quarter cups of yogurt. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to fry these potatoes. Uh, for the best flavor, you definitely fry them in oil, but I'm going to air, I'm going to uh, spread some oil on these. I'm going to mix it up nicely, put some salt uh, on it, and then I'm going to air fry those potatoes. You want to air fry them nice and crispy, well done, and you want to keep it on the side. Uh, we are going to use all of these ingredients in the end, but first we're going to cook our chicken all right so the first part is that you put your garlic into the hot oil and as you know that the garlic is so i'm just gonna close it for a bit i ran out of uh, ginger garlic paste so i have some garlic i'm gonna add some ginger some ginger powder instead of the garlic. I usually have started substituting the ginger garlic for ginger powder and garlic powder. I feel like it gives a better uh, flavor to the dish rather than using the ginger garlic paste. Um, but you know, if you have ginger garlic paste, go ahead and add that. You don't want to burn your garlic, just leave it at that. And now I'm going to add the turmeric, salt, and the chili powder. I'm going to give it a nice fry. You can add a little bit of water in this um, to not let the spices burn. And once I see that it's nice and fragrant, I'm going to add my chicken. Turn the stove on to a medium. As you can see, I'm not cooking a lot of chicken today. It's just for today, so you know, just for us at home. Uh, if you want, you can definitely increase the quantity of spices to the chicken and double it. If you're using one whole chicken, you can easily double the quantity of spices. So I turn this to medium and I'm gonna fry this for a bit. So the next ingredients that you're gonna to add to this are uh, yogurt and um, tomato paste. But let the chicken fry with the masalas so it changes its color. I'm gonna increase the heat a little bit more. 
flip the chicken over. I think this is my first chicken dish. Um, and I plan to show more of our desi cooking going forward and using uh, the meats as the main focus. Um, coming forward is Ramadan next month. So, you know, you want to have, I know a lot of people like to eat meat during Ramadan and uh, the, usually they cook karhai type of dishes. This recipe is really good because you can cook it within 30 minutes. And we all know, especially if you're working, um, you don't have a lot of time to cook during Ramadan and these kind of recipes come really handy. By the way, today our videographer is Ayan Shahid. He has been kind enough to make a video for me. And that's another reason why, another reason why I, I don't do a lot of chicken dishes because uh, I haven't bought a tripod yet and I need somebody to hold so my hands are free to cook instead of making the video. Okay, so after the chicken got fried um, and the color had changed, I added uh, one tablespoon of tomato paste. Um, I really like using tomato paste as well in recipes because it just is so concentrated and it gives a unique flavor to the dish compared to the regular uh, fresh tomatoes. Um, also, we're gonna add the three quarter cup of the uh, yogurt. While this was uh, cooking, I quickly put some oil on my potatoes and I have set it in my air fryer. If you want a healthier version, I put it in the air fryer for 390 degrees and when it's half cooked I'm going to sprinkle some salt over it so the potatoes have a good flavor. Uh, another thing a lot of ladies complain is that when we put dahi in a dish um, it kind of breaks apart into small tiny pieces. Um, the trick to it is that you uh, beat the yogurt nicely and what I do is I add a little slightly uh, one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoons of uh, hot water or warm water in it and then I beat it and I also reduce the flame of the stove and uh, so that the temperature comes down. I think what happens is when cold yogurt hits the hot uh, pan that's what happens it like breaks apart into pieces and then the gravy doesn't look that nice and smooth. So anyways um, that was a tip that I wanted to share with you guys. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the flame and I'm going to cover the chicken and I'm going to cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes till it's all done. Right. And then we'll come back and show you what's next. Welcome back. So now our chicken is completely cooked and you see that the oil has separated. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to spread all the onions cut in circles all over the chicken. Uh, I'm cooking something on the other stove and that's why the oil is sizzling from the heat of that stove, but nothing to worry about. <laughs> and once all of your dish is covered with the onions, I'm gonna put the air fried potatoes all over. Spread it out and then last but not the least I have my green chilies. Okay. Okay, all of that and in the end we have our garam masala and um, pepper powder that we sprinkle on top. Uh, the last step is you just cover the dish up, keep it on low and on dumb for another 10 minutes and I will be back to show you how it looks in the end. 